in company to me on you. There are strange things happening around what? in this world. Now you won't put me for trouble, baby. So, now you won't let's put me watch for this bad egg from the Nigerian police. This news was delivered now, wow. now, by wow. VDM. Now, based on the video we all just watched, as you can see, a policeman, they try to wear a trouser before they catch him. Now, the girl were there on top chair. Allegedly, they say the police guy drugged the girl. You understand? He drugged the girl. And the girl now under age. He drugged the girl. He won't knock the girl before somebody enter. Although, for this video, in face no show. But due to one or two questions when I asked, they sent me somebody number. I don't know if it's him. Uh, they sent me a name. I don't know if not him. But the name is, they said it happened in South EBA Divisional Police Station in Edo States. The name of the officer is Sergeant Abraham Uzo Obo. You understand? So I'll forward this to the um, first PRO for further investigation. Now, what is crazy is that this girl now is underage. He don't drug the girl. Imagine say the girl can't wake up. Can't say they don't temper with her. Maybe the girl can't be virgin. They don't temper with her. Blood can't be drip. The kind of trauma where the girl go first go through. Now, imagine say it can't be all those families where we say that they put her on the inside to this show. Say, okay, Peking still be virgin or not. Do you understand? They can't discover say it don't open. And the girl don't know anything about her. Trauma. They don't start to the. They don't start to the emotionally. They abuse the girl. They call her names. A shower so you don't they sleep around and all that. And the girl now look for explain what it really happened to her. No, no, he said now one brother somewhere. The man said no even get the decency to even remove him police uniform. He still wear the uniform. He they rush. He wear uniform for body. These are the bad eggs in the police. Now this one they spoil the Nigerian police force. This man should be fished out. This man. Must be fished out. I'll send this to the first PRO's office. And I believe that Mr. Olumi you are the job. I could go trust that one. I believe saying go bring this girl this man confront. We won't know who be this officer. And we won't know how many people we don't take advantage of. How many young girls? Because this does not look like his first time. We want to know how many young innocent girls he has taken advantage of over the years. We want to know. Now they are saying that this happened inside the police station, but I don't want to believe that that is a police station. I don't want to believe. Maybe it's in his office in a police station. But I don't want to believe that the officer will be that careless. Do you understand? Even though they are saying it's happened in a police station. Do you understand? But anyways, investigation will now show whatever thing happened. Now, for men where no get control. For men where no get control. There are some things that almost you go ask yourself. Say, what if this person am I picking? Do you understand? What if this is my child? An underage girl just drunk and won't take advantage of her. Ask yourself, will I be happy if this happened to my own child someday, tomorrow, next tomorrow? Anyways, I'm going to send this to the police, like I said, and they'll fish this person out, IG. They'll fish him out. Life won't know this officer. We won't know him. Peace and love. Don't play. Two thousand years later. It's, um, you remember the video I posted yesterday about one police officer where they catch allegedly inside police station when drug one small girl, he won't knock the girl, now somebody can't catch him. Now, this is the police officer, right? This is the alleged officer, Abraham Uzeobo. As you can see, this is his face, this is who he is. Now, let me give you an update of the case based on my findings. Nigerians are crazy. We are the architect of our problem. It's not only the government that is the problem, we ourselves are the problem. Now, you know the woman that recorded that video that caught that officer in the act? The woman is currently in detention. Based on my own investigation and my own findings, the woman is inside in detention for a reason. When she caught that officer in that act, inside the police station, she now told him that, eh, if you don't want me to tell people, you give me 40,000 Naira. <laughs> The officer agreed. The officer paid the woman 40,000 naira. Later, the woman now planned with her own family members that they should tell the officer to give them 1 million naira. If not, they will post it everywhere. When now one make sergeants get 1 million naira? Immediately, they sent it to the man's family members and said they should look for 1 million naira to pay them, else the thing will go viral. As they refuse to pay, boom, now the thing will go viral. So, as we speak now, the woman is in detention. They are looking for her family members to also make arrest on them. The officer as well is also in detention. Now, it's crazy how one would think 
that that woman made that video so that she could use and go report, make the necessary authorities get justice for the girl where they take advantage of, like the young innocent girl. Do you understand? One would think she took that video as an evidence to use to make sure that this crime will not go unpunished. This crime will not go overlooked. Not knowing that she was trying to take advantage. How about the trauma that that girl will go through? See the way they take advantage, they drug them. Once a woman to woman, this now woman now to woman. So the question is, if that woman they at a young age, would you have, oh God, Nigerians. And trust me, a lot of people they shout, oh, just see, 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 if you pay them, shh. Anyways, this is the update of the whole thing. The woman is in detention, the officer is in detention. They are looking for our own family members that join hands together to cover that crime. Do you understand? Now, I just hope that that poor innocent girl, they will get her a very good therapist. Do you understand? I hope they get her to a very good therapist. And I pray for her mental health in all of this. Thank God. And her face even show. That's the sad part. Her face show. That be the painful part. Anyways, make sure they see how everything they go. I'll get update of the case later. Peace and love. Don't play. Thank you for watching. If you're new to this channel, Consider subscribing so you won't miss out any of our latest videos.